Hi everyone, uh, I'm Alfred. Welcome back to Kingdom of Loathing. It's only been a couple of days, as you might be able to see by the uh, address here. But yeah, I'm going to do some Kingdom of Loathing. Got myself pretty socked up. So, oops. let's get in. Okay. It's a battlefield. We still got War Hippie Shaman. Normal stuff, you know. War the Hippie Army Shaman. Shamans? They serve the army of one love as both clergy and powerful combat magicians. Well, they serve when they're not too, too busy communing with nature via various herbs and fungi the earth bless them with. Guys' assistance, the heavily medicated medicine man, means to purge the planet of you and your violent ways. Starts on their incantation to Gaia, but you point out his lock and stock sandals are knockoffs and have leather soles and uppers. Bolt of lightning streaks down from the sky and fries them. Bonk. Nice. See you, uh... <laughs> We've already seen that one. Okay. So the battlefield is currently on image four. Um, over the last couple of days, I uh, did some off-screen grinding, and I got the last uh, B-Rail. My gunpowder, big boom, big, big boom. Thank you, bump a bump a bump 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 He has you for a few seconds, then a uh, lights, smile lights up his face, and he says, my life, or my bomb's for you. My bomb's for you, bump a bump bump a bump a bump bump a bump he disappears in the lighthouse. Well, let's go check on him again. Took most of the bombs over to your house, bum 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 There's still a few left over. Big boom, big boom. Tequila, tequila grenade, to grenade, and two Molotov cocktail cocktails. Let's take a look here. Oh, hold on. Just get myself cranked. Frozen seal spine. What? Oh shit, that thing's super cool. I might have to equip that just for the cool of it. Tequila grenade. Grenade full uh this is a grenade full of shots of tequila. Since the shots are in shot glasses, you get an impressive amount of shrapnel on it. The lines are also limes are also pretty sharp, and the salt is sure to get in your foes wounds. 75 to 100 physical damage, and then we got Molotov Cocktail cocktail. Molotov cocktail mixed with high proof rum, making it volatile and flammable. I'd recommend against drinking it, unless your stomach is frozen for some reason and you're trying to thaw it out. Okay. Alright, let's see where we are on here. This is, in fact, how I'm keeping track. Mysterious Island quest. Island. All right, we've got the lighthouse and the... Oh, yeah, we're supposed to be delivering shit. Um, we're somewhere hard. Let's go to an oasis. Let's head up a desert. Um, let me see here. Where's the thing? Rock band flyers. Enrages it. Now we hit it. Cool. Nice. Council loathing, go to hell. Not because they're asking for money, but because they're the council. As you know, I despise the council of loathing. Uh, okay, so this is still Mysterious Island Arena. Rock band flyers. Check into the amphitheater. How do I, where's a good place to get the, to get this shit going? Hmm. I could go here. Oh, right. Damn it. Um. Oh, yeah, the pyramid has a bunch of, like, tough dudes, right? Cool. So then we can just get some more of this going, right? I want to get at least the first one, just so I can see how much it's actually going to take. Oh, whoops. Didn't even do it. Tomb servant. All right, let's take a look. Checking in the amphitheater, see the uh, frat boy promoter dropping brown food coloring into cans of sparkling water. Hey, doing a decent job promoting the band's still not popular enough for you to find financial backers. As it is, we're going to have to sell this colored water instead of light beer. No one will notice, uh, of course, but maybe you should promote a bit harder. So where am I right now? Um, oh, it's this one, right? 
Okay, so this is the second. And then there's a third, fourth, fifth, and sixth. And the sixth is the last one. Okay. Um, this doesn't work, right? I didn't think so. Okay. Yeah, let's fuck him up. See one of the Fortune 500 make a quick call on the cell phone. Some mercenaries drive up, shove three hippies in their bitch and meat car, and drive away. All right. So I want to see how kills per fight. So I've done two, right? So I should be getting four kills per fight. Oh, three hippies. Yeah, there you go. So I'm, I'm taking down th four with every one battle I do. Interesting, interesting. We said it's a thousand enemies. So I'm not sure how much I've actually done. Well, let's see here. Can I get to the... Hello, dear. Do you want two macarons? Sure. I love you. Love you, too. My wife is uh, making macarons still. Can't get there, and I can't get there yet. Okay. Well, then I guess we could just still do this. The bottom hick uh, hippie kicks you repeatedly in the shins while a shoulder-mounted girlfriend slaps you and scratches you with her crusty fingernails. Gonna need a, shot a battery of shots after this, or maybe one shot of battery acid. Critical hit. She whips you with her ratty blonde dreadlocks. Wait, blonde dreadlocks? Yeah, ew, dude. <laughs> See a frat boy lob a sake bomb into a tree of nearby hippies. We got a didgeridooka. Let's, uh, let's crack that. Let's crack that. Didgeridooka. That's a blowgun. That's funny. Thank you, dear. My beautiful wife has just brought me some macrons that she made. Yes, uh, as you may recall from several weeks ago, my wife is uh, making macarons with one of her friends. That's uh, that's still going on technically because I recorded this and the other thing in uh, the same night. Weird, huh? Anyway, um, check the old quest log and let's see where we're going. Make more. I still don't know what the hell this is. Let me, let me just see here. 64 hippies. 64 hippies, 64 hippies. So I'd only have to kill like eight of them, right? And then... Let's see the Nemesis quest. I literally don't know where the hell I'm supposed to go. All right. I already got the epic hat, right? It's the Scalpa Gorgolock? Yeah, Scalpa Gorgolock, okay. Sometime after that, four thugs. Menacing thug. Have I even fought one of these? I don't think I have. How do you get them to spawn? Any adventure after you defeat the nemesis in the dank and dark and sinister cave. Have I still not... Good God. No. Okay. Hmm. Mob Penguin Hitman. I feel like I've fought one of these guys. Hmm. Okay. Hunting Seal. I feel like I fought one of these dudes as well. Okay. Dire Hell Seal. I think I fought this guy. Secret Tropical. Wait, I have the adorable seal larva. Don't seal larva, don't I? That's how I got the adorable larva seal. Adorable seal larva. Yeah. What the fuck? What's, what's happening? Wait, does that mean that it's in my inventory? What the hell is it called? It's in here, right? Bag of animal bones, right? Yeah. Um, oh my god, it's been here the whole time. <laughs> 
This nautical chart acquired from an assassin I've sent to you by your nemesis. It's a fucking chart. Skull-shaped island. Fuck. Kind of thing the guys would be excited. Oh, there you go. Damn. I'm a... I'm stupid. That's a... Yeah, I'm... I'm, I'm real stupid. <laughs> okay. 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 <sighs> well, let's take a look here. Palm tree shelter. Ah, shading your eyes, you peer at the top of the palm tree. Some sort of hut up there. Hello up there, you call. Good gracious, you hear. That beast have learned to mimic the human tongue. Coating a coconut is hurled down at you, narrowly missing your head. Away, foul creature. I'll not be hoodwinked by the likes of you, shout the voice. Are you crazy? Do you always look like a seal to you? Face me appears among the palm fronds and peers down to you. I will concede you do not appear to be a seal, but they are deuce tricky creatures. It pays extra caution, you know. Oh, for the love of... I'm coming up. Very well. Bring the coconut, will you? I can scarcely afford to waste them. Grumbling, you pick it up and shimmy up the tree. As you reach the top, the man cautiously takes your arms and helps you helps pull you into the hunt, which is a large wicker basket on its side, lashed to the tree with ropes and vines. The man the monocle and strokes his handlebar moustache as he looks you up and down. Well, now, it does look as if you want to see it after all. They are quite unable to climb my tree with those flippers of theirs. Oh, goodness knows they've tried. Sorry for the confusion, old chap. Takes a coconut from you and sets it in a small palm frond basket as you glance around. Who are you? What are you doing here? Phineas T. Leightonstone at your service. What I'm doing here, that's a tale. Short version, please. Harumph. Suffice to say, I want an egg morning communication on my handcrafted mini zeppelin, the basket of which serves my shelter here, you see. While passing over the island, I took a gamble in the attempt to cast a thermal updraft from the volcano, but misjudged my descent. I was able to steer my craft sufficiently and to crash into this tree other than the ground, thus securing a small location, a safe location as a base of operation while I repair the balloon. Just as to the pile of the scraps. Collecting hides and sinews from the seagulls I can catch, which should be sufficient to get me off once more. I have a large enough quantity. Now, quid pro quo and all that. What is your story? I'm here for the seals. They're the scourge of my homeland, and now their leader, the infernal hell seal Gorgolok, has followed me to loathing. Time to settle the score. Goodness gracious indeed, that's exciting, Phineas exclaims. What's more, I believe our meeting may be at a true mutual benefit. My braver moments, fueled by desperate weariness of a seagull and coconut based diet, taking a brief and cautious prowl in the jungle for additional provisions. I observed from a safe distance that the cave in front of which the adult seals make their lair is heavily guarded at the entrance. Even the minus warriors should be torn to shreds if he attempted frontal assault. I've noticed the adult seals have a keen sense of smell, their vision is poor. Given my ex expertise in leather work and pro proper raw materials, should be able to fasten you a costume mask of human smell, while some of is being near enough in shape to a seal that fool their eyes. You should be able to pull the bluff your way past the gods and get in the cave proper, where your resistance would be less severe. What do you get? You bring me a few extra hides, then above what is needed for the costume, I can repeat complete the repairs to my zeppelin. Alright, sounds fair enough, it's a deal. Excellent. Now I don't need hides, of course, plus brains to tan them with and sinews for sewing. Half a dozen of each, they need to be fairly intact, so avoid slashing the seals to ribbons or setting them on fire as such. We'll need these materials from adult seals spe specifically. I thought that you said all the adult seals were in the cave. On occasion, they leave the cave to check on the young. You can attract their attention somehow. All right, see what I can do. Spend it. Good luck and good hunting. All right, let's go to the broodling grounds. Ooh, man, a lot of reading this episode. <coughs> You creep up to the section of the rocky coastline where the seal pup pups frolic. Guard them cautiously from behind a boulder. It's only like cowardly behavior for a staunch northern barbarian, but take into account that frolicking in, the co in this context means gleefully and violently tearing the limbs off of and then disemboweling any number of any of their number that look to be slightly weaker and inattentive. Uh, hell seal broods reduce themselves to about a tenth of the original population in the first few weeks after they develop their claws and fangs and leave the protection of the mothers. This leaves a small pack of extremely strong, fast, wily, and above all, violent seal pumps who are intelligent enough to recognize the fact that even if they manage to defeat one of their siblings, the fight would weaken them enough to make them easy prey for the others. Thus, an uneasy truce develops, as well as a tendency to sleep with their eyes open, at least in time, until it's time to leave the spawning ground and stake their own territories. This brood appears to be nearing the stage. Most of the pups are watching each other warily and growling when they get too close. And fights break out sporadically. There's still quite a lot of pups here, meaning the initial brood was large or the pups uncommonly strong. Hmm. Since Gorgolok probably fathered, fathered all of them, either of these or both could be the case. The upshot of this is it's not somewhere to be shouting your battle cry and charging in club up raised with that damn good reason. Hell seal pup. Oh, it's so small. <laughs> Young seal is nearly ready to leave the brood nest to be a big shark in a pond, in its own pond instead of piranha in a small... All right, metaphor went off the rails pretty fast. What I'm getting at is this little seal may not be as dangerous as a fully grown one, but it's certainly capable of tearing you new orifice. 
It sinks its needle sharp teeth into my face and then qu gives me a quick exsanguination. Shit. So yeah, I uh, I did read ahead. I need to let me see here. Let me let me see here. I need to defeat Halcyon. If they kill him in one hit, don't let too many screech or they will be too tough. Equip a club and kill Halcyons with weapon based attacks to get all that. The adorable seal larva won't attack Halcyons. That's good. I. I don't want to take off my familiar. Okay, let's uh, try this again. Nozzle my leg with tiny razor sharp teeth. Ugh. Let me see here. Does this do anything? It does one damage. Hell Seal gives me an aggra aggravated look, raises its head, and emits a high pitched screeching wail. Loud growling noise somewhere nearby. Uh oh. Cuddles next to you and says, Mama? Aw. Tries to fin slap me, but you're finished being slapped. Chadwick glances at your opponent with his big brown eyes, blinks a couple times, and curls up for a nap instead of attacking. Cool. Okay, so. Hell seals. Don't let too many. Okay, so where do I get the hell seals? Or the hell seal pup, okay. High pits whale, okay. Hell seal claw, interesting. So do I go here? Approach the cave, but a large growling stop causes you to stop short. Enormous pairs of glowing red eyes are visible in the darkened entrance. Back away, describing that discretion, deciding that discretion is the better part of etc. Okay, did a whale. Got a hell seal claw. Sinks those needle sharp teeth into your knee. Your your chi gets a quick adjustment. Okay, how do we get? Hmm. Are these seal shapes? Okay, hell seal pop. Hell seal pop. Hell seal pop. Okay, how do I mother hell seals? Let's see here. Okay. Base zero percent encounter rate. Each time a hell seal pop is called, decrease if you lose, decrease if you run away, and they're reset at rollover. It's not increased, HP is not increased. Interesting, okay. It did a squeal. There we go, oh my god! Have you ever heard the Odd edge. Never get between a mother bear and her cubs. There's a similar one referring to the Lotharian Lothingen Hell Seals, which goes, never get between a mother hell seal and pups. And if you've been killing the pups in question, I hope you have a spare stash of internal organs close to hand and maybe a spare torso to put them in. She gives you a loud spanking with your, a sound spanking with her fin. Then she sends you to the corner to think about what you've done. I lose a shitload of health points. Jesus. Uh, club foot. Rock band flyers. Let's get dangerous here. Okay. Lunging thrust smack. Oh yeah. Whew. That was uh that was not easy. That was definitely not easy. Um let's go heal. One of the other issues is that I don't have Chadwick healing me. Oh well, there we go. Um, another one. Sits down to watch her afternoon stories, leaving you with a few moments of peace. All right, flyers, pipe. So pull, ooh, that's uh, that's not good, huh? Shabooms. Hellseal sinew and claw. Nice. I got a muscle point. So let's take a look at the uh, Hellseal items I'm getting. Okay, powdered seal bone is just. Oh yeah, I can fight more seals now. Powdered. Seal blubber candle. And then pee, 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 powdered seal bone. Make as many as possible. Shabooms. Right. Make some meat paste. Damn. Okay. 
And then I've got to find seal blubber candle, powdered seal bone, make as many as possible. Boom. It's ridiculous, not even funny. Okay. Over here, let's go check on my bros. Seventy candles, nice. Anything to say? Nothing, huh? Oh Christ, I'm still doing that, right? Jesus. Uh, let's check on the island arena while we're here. Hey, uh, fat boy concert promoter talking with a couple of burly uh, cigar smoking penguins in tuxedos, though it's hard to tell. <laughs> hey, doing a great job promoting the concert. Enough buzz that these gentlemen have agreed to invest in the show. We'll have a real opening act and concessions. Thanks a lot. Thing is, the attendance of conference is in a big way. I promise these guys are going to take my kneecaps and make your armpits out of them. So uh, keep up the good work, yeah. Cool. That means that it's working. Let's keep it going then, huh? Nice. Actually, this is probably a good start. Um... I'll see you guys next episode. I'm an Alfred. This has been Kingdom of Loathing. And again, this is entirely free, no matter what. Um, so, yeah. Thanks. See you guys next week.